On the fringe of Beijing, Tangjialing Village is wallpapered with flyers advertising jobs and cheap rooms for rent to college graduates who've moved in from across the country, all with a dream of making it big in the big city. 26-year-old Yang Qinghai lives in an 11-square-meter apartment at just $60 per month. He has a computer networking degree, a job selling mobile phone software, but wants to save enough to someday open his own business. It's not hard to find a job in China, he says, but it's really hard to find your ideal job. Yang is part of a new generation of educated migrants in China who live on the urban edge. It's estimated 40,000 recent graduates have crowded in to Tangjialing, among just 3,000 locals. They commute up to four hours a day to work in the city center. One professor likens them to ants because they are relentlessly hardworking, living in poor, cramped conditions. He calls ant villages. Huge ant villages are appearing because of the increased availability of higher education, he says. The labor force is transforming, but the country is still developing. That means there are not enough jobs for multiplying numbers of graduates. Six times as many students graduated from college in China in 2009 than a decade ago, and 14 percent of current graduates are unemployed. Those who are getting a paycheck aren't necessarily well paid. But luckily, the cost of living in an ant village is affordable. One of the most popular things to buy in this village, a pair of new shoes for work or for your first job interview. This store is advertising a pair of shoes for as low as 10 yuan, just about $1.50. You can even get a pair of real leather shoes for no more than $6. I think Tang Jialing is a starting point for many young people to take off and realize their dreams, says this one-time resident. It's certainly not the standard of living expected after a college education, but ant village dwellers say they have to start somewhere. Emily Chang, CNN, Beijing.